looking for the Constitution, hoping for the British style they're always used to using Federalist to Republican, aiming for the same intention, not including gun control because of all the increasing tension. Others as may say things about gun control, but that's too democratic for everyone to handle. Sam Adams, the anti-federalist, feels that the Constitution is not an element. Without the Bill of Rights, though, this new nation would really take a hard blow. Democracy approves of gun control. In a republic, the government ain't having a role. That's a sign of limited government. The absolute power will be completely absent. Don't forget about the right to bear arms. The Second Amendment states keep your guns on the farms. People aren't killed by only guns. Instead, they are killed by the criminal ones. Each person should have their own type of rule. Cause that's popular sovereignty. Ain't that cool? Can't take away the basic rights. That's a sign of democracy being a mockery. Balance of power, you can't forget. It will always keep the government in check. Without gun control, the murders will occur. These mass shootings will be part of the curve. Rest in peace to all of Sandy Hook. In news today, that was not a fiction book. You can never forget all these tragic events. These stories all contain tragically real content. Why would you consider taking guns away? In fact, that is a basic freedom always portrayed. Besides, why would you want to be left defenseless when someone is coming being totally senseless? Without guns being available to the public, your protection will only be offered by the Republic. Without these basic rights from the Constitution, all of those not in support will never find a solution. Right now we are the celebrants. The winner here is obviously the Federalists. No gun control should take over the nation, so there will be absolutely no temptations. Thank you.